In today's vid, I'm gonna show ya how to edit a PDF right on your iPad using the new preview app that comes with iPad OS 26. Man, you can pretty much do whatever you want with PDFs on here, whether you're banging out school papers, working on contracts, or just scribbling notes in a book you're reading, this is gonna be super clutch. We'll keep it chill and easy, so by the end, you'll know exactly what kind of stuff you can pull off. Alright, let's jump in. So first up, we're gonna mess with the markup tools. Open up the preview app, and boom, you'll see all your PDFs laid out. If there's one you want to edit, just tap it. Up at the top, in that menu bar, smash that first icon in the markup toolbar. Then look down at the bottom right corner and tap on that little toolbar. All the tools LL popped up. You got your pencil, pen, scribble tool, marker, highlighter, eraser, lasso, ruler, watercolor, crayon, calligraphy, and the color palette. Use your Apple Pencil or just your finger to draw or highlight stuff. Wanna switch up the color? Tap that color palette. Also, Hit that plus icon to see even more tools. You can toss in stickers, text, or even slap your signature on there. When you hit that plus, a menu's gonna show up with a ton of options. Drop in stickers to make it fun or highlight certain bits. Use text to type out notes or labels right on your PDF. Need to sign? Tap signature, scribble it out, and drop it wherever. No printer needed. If you want to see how to add a new signature, peep my other vid on that. Need shapes like circles, squares, or arrows? Tap shape and move or resize it however ya want. You can also use the loop to zoom in on any part of your PDF. Move it around, dial in the zoom, easy. All these tools just let you trick out your PDF how you want. Play around, make it yours. And if you mess up, don't sweat it. Tap the three dots at the top right, and you'll get undo, redo, and even a go to page option. Wanna jump to a page? Punch in the number, hit go, done. Now, on to part two, page editing. You can rearrange, delete, rotate, or even yank out pages into a brand new PDF if you only need a chunk of it. In your PDF, tap that toggle sidebar icon up top left, then hit the three dots. A pop-up's gonna give you a bunch of handy tools. Quick rundown. Copy. Makes a duplicate of that page so you can paste it somewhere else in the dock. Rotate left, right, 
spins at 90 degrees. Perfect if you scan it upside down. Crop page. Snip off edges or just zoom in on what matters. Insert blank page. Drops a fresh empty page right after. Good for adding notes or whatever. Insert from file. Pulls in pages from another PDF and merges them in. Scan pages. Use your iPad camera to scan paper docs and pop them right in. Delete page. Kicks that page out of the PDF. After you pick what you want, just follow the on-screen stuff to finish up. And like I said, most PDF editors let ya undo if you screw something up. Also, if you want to crop a page, at the top menu bar, tap that third icon labeled crop, then tap wherever ya want to crop, it'll adjust. Want to check out PDF details? Tap that tiny info icon up top left. You'll see the file name, type, size, when it was created, all that good stuff. Alright, last bit. Extracting pages into a new PDF. In your PDF, look for the share icon up top right and tap it. Then hit, print and pick the page range you want to grab. You'll see another share button pop up in that bar. Tap it, hit save to files, and that's it. Boom! You just made a brand new PDF with the pages you picked. And that's pretty much the whole deal on editing PDFs on your iPad with preview and similar tools. Got questions? Drop them down in the comments. If this helps you out, don't forget to smash that like and hit subscribe for more quick iPad and iPhone tips. Catch ya in the next one.